Good morning, my friends. It's Mr. Giovanni. Today, we're going to learn about a cool instrument that we have not talked about in class. So on the screen here, you see, what is a musical instrument in this picture? And I know what some of you are thinking. Well, that looks like a trumpet. It's actually not a trumpet. It's related to a trumpet, but let's see what it is. It's called a bugle. In this word, the U says its name. Say bugle. Good job. The bugle is the cousin of what instrument? And I think you probably may have figured that out. That one right there, it is the trumpet, right? The trumpet. Let me move my little thingy up here at the top, get that out of the way. That's the trumpet. This is called a bugle. A bugle, if you notice, does not have those three little buttons or valves up top there. Because the bugle has no valves or buttons, it can play only five notes. We're gonna to touch the bugle here to hear five notes that it can play. Pretty cool. Until about 100 years ago, armies would fight battles in open fields. Because the gunfire and the cannon fire were so loud, generals started using the bugle calls to send orders to the soldiers. The sound of the bugle could be heard for a great distance over the noise of battle. We'll touch the bugle to hear a bugle call. I've heard that before. Bugle calls are still used today to tell soldiers what to do. Each bugle call has its own meaning, which the soldiers must learn. This one right here. This is a bugle call that tells the soldiers it's time to get up if they're sleeping. I'm awake. This next one tells the soldiers it's time to line up. Could you imagine if your teacher would be playing this one in class when it's time to line up? Hmm. This next one in purple says, this is a bugle call that tells the soldiers it's time to eat. Hmm, could you imagine if your teacher would play this one when it's time to go to lunch at school? And the last one, it's bedtime. This one tells the soldiers it's time to turn the lights out and go to bed. One of the bugle calls that we heard is called Reveille. Everyone say Reveille. It tells the soldiers it's time to get up. So we're gonna pretend that you're asleep in your bunk, you're asleep in your bed, and the sun has just gotten up. What will you do when you hear Reveille? We'll hear the bugle call. <laughs>
Another bugle call tells the soldiers it's time to turn the lights on and go to sleep. This one's called taps. And I think we heard this one too. Let's pretend you're finished with dinner or your supper. The sun is just going down. What will you do when you hear taps? Google calls different. Hmm. Let's hear the first one. We'll just hear a little, little bit of this one. Here's the second one. Can you tell those two apart just by listening to them? I can. I think the sun one is a lot faster. This one is a lot quieter and slower. Let's see. Let's see. We're gonna to touch the bugle call. We're gonna be. We're gonna to touch the sun. If you hear reveille, hmm, because the music tells you it's time to get up, or the moon. If you hear taps, because the music tells you time to go to bed. All right. So, let's hear it. Hmm. Is that called reveille, or is this one called tap? I think it's called Reveille. Yes. All right. Let's try again. Okay. Well, that's it, friends. I'm glad you uh, enjoyed this little video today. That was called the bugle, not a trumpet. Hopefully you learned something. Bye. You're watching the music show with Mr. Giovanni. <laughs>